first of all, how tough is it going against Tom Brady? How tough is he to defend when you have to see him twice in three weeks? You know, he's a great quarterback. Uh, He certainly makes all the plays he needs to make. Uh, We were not able to make enough plays down the stretch. I was really proud of how the team fought back into the game. Um, But Tom is cool, calm, and collective. He was able to come out there and lead a couple of really good drives and make a couple of really good plays. You know, the big time play made down on third down and extra long was phenomenal. A great great throw, a great catch by Godwin. Um, Those guys executed that play. That was really the turning point in the game, which got the score out of whack. As a longtime defensive coach, what does it say to you about either the players or the game prep this week that the Bucks were able to roll up nearly 500 yards of offense? You know, when they come out, you play these guys, you know they're going to get yards. You have to get the ball back. It's like playing Drew Brees. Um, you're not going to stop these guys from accumulating yards. Um, you're not going to stop those guys from doing those things. you got to win on the, the critical downs. you got to win on third down, and you got to win when you get the chance to get the ball back. And when you get a chance to get the ball back, you got to take advantage of that and be able to go out there and play. How do you sum up your 11 games as interim head coach? Uh, you don't, man. You let you guys sum that up. That's your guys' job. Um, it is what it is. Uh, we had a chance to interview with these guys. It was a great interview. I got a chance to sit down with Mr. Blank and some of the people at the top, Rich McKay and some others. Um, had a lot of fun with that. Um, that time is over. Well, now we're playing the waiting game, and we'll see how it goes, see what, decision, see what decision makers say. Did get some questions about that interview. Is there anything else you can say about the interview, about that process? Um, it went well. You know, it was fair. Um, it, it, was, uh, it was long. Um, it was, it was uh, definitely uh, appreciated, and um, I definitely am invested into the Falcon family um, in that way, and I appreciate those guys. Do you hope to remain the head coach of the Falcons following this season? <laughs> uh, there's no doubt, man. Um, I love this football team. I love this city. Um, I love this organization. I love the owner. I love these players. Um, and these guys are not far away, and they got a chance. They've been battle-tested. They played against a bunch of really uh, playoff-bound teams in the last couple of weeks. Um, they fought and not been able to get the wins. Um, we're that close. Um, we got to find a way to get over the edge. And if we're able to be there, if we're able to get to this point, we can be in this spot again next year. Uh, we will find a way. It's going off being that close. What do you think this team is missing to, like you said, get over the edge? You know, it's what we talked about, just what you miss in general. Uh, we got to find a way to be able to run the ball more consistently. And we got to find a way to be able to get up to the quarterback with our four man rush. And if we can do some of those things, we are going to be the team to beat and we're going to be the team to deal with moving forward. What do you think the 2020 Falcons team showed the new general manager joining the team soon? Uh, you know, not really interested in that. You know, he'll come up, he'll have his own, uh, obviously he'll have his own opinions. Um, whoever that is, um, those guys I'm sure are going to pick a great evaluator. They're going to pick a great guy with people. They're going to pick a great guy that's a part of our family uh, and our core values. Um, and I look forward to seeing what that looks like. Can you discuss the season-long struggle to establish a running game? And was the long run today by Brian Hill kind of a hint to what you would have hoped to see? Uh, you know, you never can just say one long run is what you hope to look like. You know, when you get one long run, especially particularly with a great player like that, like Brian Hill making a play, um, you like to see it productive. You like to see it efficient. Um, you want to get those things efficient so you can run the ball, turn around, let Matt hand that thing off, um, be able to eat up top, eat up time and keep Tom Brady off the field. Um, those things always come about and help you win. And those are the things we're looking for in those situations. What can you say about the offense's performance today after falling behind by 17? I uh, really love the fight in the team. Um, the offense kept rolling. We came out, went into halftime, and let those guys know it was simple. You go out and score when you got the ball, and you got on defense and stop them. Those guys were able to go out there and accomplish those things and get us right back into the game, made it a three-point game. Um, and we got to go out there and be able to finish the game when we get to that point. We got to that point, and Tom turned into Tom and was able to get us. How did Matt Hennessy play today? Uh, we'll have to go look at the tape and review that. But, you know, obviously he kept him off his back a bunch. We were able to get a couple runs. Um, we seen him on some second-level blocks. So I'll be able to go evaluate it tomorrow and be able to see what's going on with it. Have you had the sense for a while that Julio wouldn't be able to play in these final few games? No, you give Julio every chance that he can and every opportunity to try to go. Um, he was able to run a little bit more this week. Um, obviously, he made the decision that he couldn't go, um, and it is what it is. Uh, we look forward to getting a healthy, strong, uh, physical Julio back next year. How was Tom Brady able to exploit the mismatches today with uh, Chris Godwin? Time. You know, he's able to sit back there, pat the ball, move around with his feet. He's going to scan it as, as well as anybody in the National Football League. He found the right guy at the right time, and uh, he's going to make the play when you give him that much time. What's your evaluation of Russell Gage uh, on the season, and did he become the guy you guys needed him to be without Julio and with teams more inclined to double Calvin over the last few weeks? You know, it really has nothing to do with Julio. Russell Gage is a very good football player. It was part of the decision um, to move on from Muhammad Sanu to be able to insert him into our starting lineup um, for him to be able to step up when he has the opportunity. He's a very good football player in his league and will be for a long time. Are you at all glad this season is over? 11 games is a long time as an interim and everything, all the extra stuff with this year? 
Justin, no chance, man. I love this game. I love football. Um, I want to coach every single week of life. Um, this is what we all pay to do. This is what we all love to do. Um, you know, I just, I just can't believe we all get paid to do it because we love it so much. Um, and there's nothing more that I like to go on and continue on these playoffs and to put this team in position and be able to win them. Um, it's a great opportunity to be able to do that. And hopefully we get the opportunity next year. I only got a couple questions remaining in the chat for you. After interviewing with the Falcons, do you have any other head coaching interviews scheduled with other teams? You know, all those things to be uh, kind of out tomorrow. You know, obviously you guys will have a bunch of fun with Black Monday. That's always fun for the media people, not so much for coaches. Uh, we look, we sit around, we'll wait, uh, we'll figure those things out, and we'll figure out what we're going to do with our families and be able to do a, be able to interview if we can. And another question along similar lines. Were you going to plan to take any interviews for any assistant coaching jobs uh, with other teams before the Falcons have named a head coach? Uh, unfortunately, you know, you got to do what you need to do um, in order when you're talking about the job search. Um, you don't sit around and wait for anybody. You know, um, you got to go out there and be a go-getter. Um, I'm a football coach. I'm going to continue to coach football. I love coaching football, um, and we all do. Um, so we'll all be out there, and we have to um, uh, be proactive and know what we need to do.